Welcome to this video on sentence correction. This is the fifth video in the series and this video is going to deal with modifier errors. Although it's a very uh, small topic to discuss or teach, but it's actually very useful because a lot of questions involve modifiers and sometimes students don't even know that there is a modifier error. And mostly these are used in the very long sentences that students often face in GMAT for sentence correction. So let's go ahead and get started and before that please don't forget to visit us at perfectscores.com and please support and share the videos at facebook.com slash perfectscores. In case of any feedback, any query, you can always email us at perfectscores89 at gmail.com. So let's go ahead and get started. Now what are basically the modifiers. Now as the name suggests they talk about something they are basically used to describe something. We have three main types of modifiers over here. Ones that act as adjectives, adverbs and modifying phrases. I'll give you example of adjectives when we say he is a nice boy. Now boy is the noun and nice is the adjective but nice is the word that is telling us something about the boy. So that means nice is also the modifier. In case of adverbs, now adverbs are basically again of three types. They are either going to modify verbs, they will either modify adjectives or they will modify other adverbs. Now I'll give you an example of how they modify verbs. When we say he ate quickly. Now the verb in this case is ate quickly is the adverb this is the word which is telling us something about how he ate he ate quickly alright so that is how adverb is modifying this verb in case of adjective when we say he is very nice we know nice is an adjective but very is the adverb that is telling us something about nice so that means very is the modifier and when we talk about how Adverbs can modify adverbs when we say he ate very quickly. Ate is a verb, very is an adverb, quickly is also an adverb. Now he ate quickly, quickly is modifying ate and how quickly did he eat? He ate very quickly. So very is the modifier modifying quickly, quickly is the modifier modifying ate. So that is how this entire thing works. And then you have modifying phrases. For example, when I say this example, driving a car, a snake bit him. Now this entire phrase, driving a car, this is talking something about the person. This is actually an example of a wrong modifier sentence because it's driving a car. A snake bit him. It looks as if the snake was driving a car but it's wrong. It should be driving a car. He was bitten by a snake. But in any case driving a car is that phrase that is going to modify. That is going to tell us something about the person who is the center of action in that sentence. So we'll go ahead and discuss some more examples on that. Here are some examples. I run very fast. Now run is a verb. I run fast. Right? So there's a link between these two. Fast is the adjective. And how fast do I run? Very fast. So this is the adverb. You have very over here. That is the modifier. He liked the rose flower a lot. He liked what? He liked the rose flower. He liked what kind of flower? He liked the rose flower. And how much did he like? He liked it a lot. So you have a lot, you have rose. Both of these act as modifiers because this one is acting like an adjective over here and this one is acting like an adverb. It's telling us something about this verb liked. I liked a lot. Now this one is an example of a phrase. While sleeping on the couch, the mosquito bit me. Right. Although it's again example of an error and a modifier because while sleeping on the couch next should be he was bitten by a mosquito or I was bitten by a mosquito. But in any case this entire phrase which is underlined that is known as a modifier. And the correct phrase or the word 
that should be modified is supposed to be i. So basically there has to be very clear relation and a link between a modifier and the word or the phrase which is getting modified. And that is the basic rule of modifiers. What you have to do is that both of them should touch each other. They should be adjacent to each other. There should not be any words between the modifier and the modified. Otherwise the sentence becomes wrong. Here is the basic rule. The modifier and modified must be adjacent to one another. Here is an example featuring sharp bristles. I presented the new automatic brush. Now if you see the modifier is featuring sharp bristles. Now this I is totally incorrect because what is featuring sharp bristles? It is the new automatic brush. So basically you have to answer the question. You have to ask yourself the question. What is it that is featuring sharp bristles? Is it I or is it the new automatic brush? And that is where you'll come to know the answer and you know that this sentence is wrong. Right. Another thing that I want to tell you about modifier is that in this case, even if you remove the modifier, the sentence apart from this modifier is still a complete sentence. For example, I presented the new automatic brush. Right. Now, as I told you that the modifier and modified must be adjacent to one another, there is no rule of rank or order. You can also say featuring sharp bristles, I the brush was presented by me or you can also say I presented the new brush featuring sharp bristles so even the modifier can come before the modified and even the modified can come before the modifier let's have a look at the second sentence I cooked the pasta for friend with cheese on the top now this is the phrase with cheese on the top the basic sentence is I cooked the pasta for a friend now who is having cheese on the top it is actually the pasta not the friend so you will say I cooked the pasta with cheese on the top for friend okay the third one skilled in math Eric's score was excellent now this one which we'll do later on it's actually an example of a dangling modifier that means the modified phrase is not present at all because what we're talking about is skilled in math who is skilled in maths it is Eric but we just have Eric's score over here. So that is a correction that we need to make. Skilled in math, Eric scored excellent. Something like that. The next sentence. I went to the conference where we discussed our incentives. Now, where is not correct. It should be in which. Although this one is rarely tested, but still you should have a knowledge. It's a mixture of pronoun errors as well. I went to the conference in which you cannot use where for an event. That would be absolutely wrong. So here is uh, a number of examples which we have already done. Here are some modifiers for verbs. For example, seriously, I love chocolate. So seriously is the one that is telling us something about love. I seriously love chocolate. I love chocolate seriously. So in all of these cases seriously is the modifier that is going with love. So this is an example of how an adverb acts. The next one in 2005 I met him. I met him in 2005. This is an example of how a preposition works. When I'm ill, I stay at home. I stay at home when I'm ill. And in case you notice it, these are subordinate clauses. And this is how a subordinate can act as a modifier for verbs. A very important difference between which and the present participle, which is ing. Which refers only to the noun immediately before it. Never to a clause. This is very, very important. For example, when I say crime has increased, which has not led to a good atmosphere. Now, which is actually referring to increased or it's referring to the increase of crime, which is totally wrong, which should actually refer only to a noun, which is crime. Or we can say the rise of crime, which is basically a noun phrase, has not led to a good atmosphere. Now, this one is correct. The rise of crime is not leading to a good atmosphere. Even this one is correct. 
Here is the difference between essential versus non-essential. Basically, the difference between that and which. Here is the essential modifier. The house covered in dust is very old. Now, covered in dust is an important modifier. You need it to talk about the house. It is important for the meaning of the sentence to hold correct. But if you look at this, the house now covered in dust is very old. This one is not important anymore because now we are putting commas and it is not essential anymore. So the difference is you put commas only around non-essential modifiers which basically talk about which. So that is the difference. Essential ones do not use a comma. Here we talk about that. The non-essential ones use a comma. This is we talk about which. Right. So remember the rule that is used when there is no comma, which is used when there is a comma and which will always refer to the proper correct noun just before it. So here are some types of modifiers as I've already told you dangling are when the modified word or phrase is not present in the sentence at all. For example, raised in London, it is nice to spend summer here. But raised in London, who is raised in London? We do not know. It's not mentioned. So that is the modify error over here. Then you have misplaced modifiers which are very easy to spot because it's just like the first sentence that we saw. For example, running down the road, rain fell on my head. Now, running down the road should actually be used for me. But it's talking about the rain. Now this can also be said to be part of dangling modifiers because we don't have the word me anywhere, we just have my head. And in any case, neither the rain can run down the road nor can my head. So you have to completely correct the sentence. The next one, being low priced, I bought the book. Again, now this modifier should actually be placed next to the book, not next to I. It would imply a wrong meaning. Smoking a big cigar, the baby was admired by its father. Now, smoking a big cigar, this is modifying the father, not the baby. So this sentence is also wrong. Here are some squinting or ambiguous modifiers. It's very rare, but it's very difficult to spot just because it's very rare. For example, presenting your facts clearly will help you. Now, you do not know clearly is talking about presenting your facts clearly. Or is it talking about clearly helping you? So you need to mention it very clearly. Presenting your facts will clearly help you. Or presenting your facts in a clear way will help you. So you need to be very clear on these terms. Here is a question for you. Prized for their shine and strength, people will spend thousands of dollars on high quality gems. Now if you see, this is the modifier prized for their shine and strength. Now what should come next to it is whatever thing is being prized for the shine and strength and according to the meaning it should be gems. So that means what if you draw your scratch paper A option is definitely ruled out. You cannot have people being modified by this phrase. The second one prized for their shine and strength thousands of dollars. Again it's incorrect modifying the wrong words wrong phrases prizing them for their shine as well as their strength thousands of dollars again it's incorrect a modifier error B says prizing the shine and strength of high quality gems people will spend so this is so far correct because this becomes the entire modifier now what they've done in D option is they've added information to the already existing modifier and made it correct E says prizing high quality gems for their shine and strength are what makes people spend thousands of dollars for them. Now in case you notice there's a subject verb agreement. You are talking about are which is incorrect. We have to talk about pricing which is basically a verb. It has to be singular. You need is over here because of subject verb agreement it's incorrect. So the answer is D. Another question. Inaugurating the movement with its publication in 1798 the authors of LB were ABC and DEF who would later be named Ireland's King. So let's put down our options on paper. So A option, this is the modifier clearly. Inaugurating the movement with its publication. 
the next word should be the people who were inaugurating or because we are talking about it's the magazine which is inaugurating the movements but this one is talking about authors so it's a modifier mistake A is incorrect again in B inaugurating the movement with its publication it's talking about the people it's incorrect inaugurating the movement with its publication the LB was written by DF who would later be named Islands King and ABC so this is somewhat correct till now D the LB written by ABC and DEF now if you see this is the modifier that talks about this magazine the LB who would later be named as Islands King and inaugurating the movement now there's a total distortion of parallelism between different elements and it is not logically correct so D is incorrect E says the authors being ABC and DEF who would later be named Islands King now in this case we are not sure this who refers to DEF or does it refer to ABC so there is an ambiguous pronoun mistake our answer is going to be C the next question marking the end of the annual pilgrimage to Bath the festival called ABC during which flowers are traditionally sacrificed is celebrated everywhere in the Muslim world so what is the modifier marking the end of the annual pilgrimage to Bath right the festival called ABC during which flowers are traditionally sacrificed is celebrated everywhere in the Muslim world so let's make our scratch paper over here so far there is no error in option A let's go to B marking the end of the annual pilgrimage to Bath after this modifier we should have the modified phrase but that is not happening so B is incorrect C says a festival marking the end of the annual pilgrimage to Bath called ABC during which flowers are traditionally sacrificed is celebrated everywhere in the Muslim world now again you see there is a distortion between the modifier and the modified phrase because it says called ABC and that would refer to Bath Bath called ABC it is very confusing it's ambiguous whether it's referring to Bath or it's referring to the annual pilgrimage or it can also actually refer to the festival so there is no clarity over here we'll go to option D a festival marking the end of the annual pilgrimage to Bath called ABC featuring the traditional sacrifice of flowers is celebrated now if you're using featuring and marking you should have and between them to make them parallel but that is not happening so D is incorrect a festival marking the end of the annual pilgrimage to Bath during which flowers are traditionally sacrificed called ABC is celebrated everywhere again the sentence structure is incorrect so we are left with A that means the sentence was correct as written right so this is how you're supposed to solve modifier questions you have to identify what is the modifier what is the modified phrase or the word right so the thing that we learnt over here is that the modifier and the modified must be close to one another they should be adjacent or they should touch each other and we also learn the different types of modifier phrases we know adverbs we talked about adjectives and we talked about phrases and in phrases also we talked about the dangling modifiers we talked about the misplaced modifiers and we talked about the squinting modifiers you don't have to go into the details and remember the types of modifiers what you basically need to know is how to identify the modifiers and how to connect the two parts which is the modifier and the modified so I hope the video was helpful thank you so much for watching the video as told before please go ahead and visit this website share your views and give your comments and valuable feedback on this email address thank you for now